Hey, what's up everyone? It's Anime Analyst here to give my complete analysis of the Naruto Revolution gameplay that I've seen on the internet from WonderCon 2014. So let's get started. First off, Kakashi Hatake has received a new moveset as we've seen in the demo. Looks pretty sweet to me. From the gameplay, I have seen the new air combo, which I'm showing you right now. Looks pretty cool. Uh, basic hand-to-hand -hand combat which looks to be finished with a lightning beast jutsu down to the ground and Kakashi's signature ninjutsu lightning blade has kind of been redesigned in style wise and here I'm gonna give you a comparison from storm 3 up to revolution right now so you can see the evolution of his lightning blade uh, just a little twist up from CC2 I mean I know they know we've gotten tired of seeing the same animation over and over again. Kakashi Hatsuki seems to be able to instant awaken, letting him tap into his hidden Sharingan abilities whenever you would like. So he is able to use a Kamui as a ninjutsu while he is awakened, which I've been desperately waiting for because I just love using Kamui if you know what I'm saying. His new L1 and R1 ninjutsu attacks are lightning beast jutsu while his charged lightning blade has been replaced with lightning running cable if you know what that is. Now let's go on to the gameplay mechanics side of things. As you see here this is gameplay of the new air dash that everyone has been spectacle of because it seems they have nerfed it down but it seems pretty fast in this demo although we've seen in previous clips that it uh, requires a twist in the air before you actually dash at the opponent kind of nerf but still seems kind of fast in this gameplay demo it also seems that when the player air dashes a new animation it seems like a gold ball appears when you air dash. Also, new prompts have been added. In Storm 3, ultimate jutsu finishes were the only actions that, that made prompts appear on the screen. Now, those who can instant awaken are prompted on the side of the screen, inquiring about flicking an analog to activate your instant awaken. Dynamic stage capabilities was also a huge thing shown in these demo gameplays. So we see that it seems to be whenever someone giant awakenings, like example Susano or Kurama mode, if you're in the ninja war stage, it seems to turn into a actually a volcano, volcanic like stage where everything is basically on fire, destroyed, basically volcanic. This seems to only appear when a giant awakening is used. The stage transition also stays if the winner defeats the opponent while the stage is like this. As you see in the winner screen, the stage is still in a volcanic state. So that wraps up everything I had to say. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.